ABC 27 is honoring Black history with a look at those who are inspiring and empowering others. A mid-state businesswoman has been serving up recipes along with her special sauce for years. Now she's getting ready to take on a whole new challenge that's really coming out of left field. Jennifer Heasley knows her way around a kitchen. She originally came to the Mid-State to teach in the York City School District, but cooking has always been her passion. I would invite my teacher friends over and try recipes on them, so that's kind of how things started to build, and I started to build a, a body of recipes. She used those skills to write a blog and eventually a cookbook. She often combined her love of food with her other love. I'm here with my guest, Louis Riddick. Sports. And There's no cooking shows with professional athletes. And then I like to season mine with a little salt and pepper. So I, I did produce my own cooking show called Cooking with the Pros. In 2016, she made the ultimate leap, giving up her 23-year teaching career to follow her dreams, starting with launching her own catering company. It's a success now, James. That was, <laughs> it was rough, guys. Um, no, so it, we started with the catering. You know, in your mind, you think that you're going to go out there and the world is going to embrace you and this is going to be awesome and I'm going to just be this champion, whatever. And it does not, you know, you have to work at it. Like, the grind is real. That grind led to even more opportunity. A sauce she created for her catering jobs was becoming a hit. So much so, she decided to bottle it and sell it. We've gained a name, like we've gained a reputation. So that's obviously, I mean, it takes time, or 2023. But yeah, we were, in, I'm telling you, that first festival, I was blown away by the response that we got from it. Sweet Mama's Bombo Sauce was born. This one has Old Bay and Natty Bow. It has Natty blossomed into a full-blown business. The sauce is sold online and at grocery stores. <laughs> Jennifer even has her own stand at York Central Market. It's been a long journey. I put a lot of work into it and it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> I put a lot of work into what we've done. I'm proud of myself because I walked away from something that was, you know, I could have done 35 years and retired and kept it moving. But, you know, I took a chance on myself. Now Jennifer is taking another chance in a whole new field. A ball field. Jennifer and her daughter Paige are now part owners of the York Revolution. It's an accomplishment for us, um, you know, from a business standpoint, it is a big deal. Um, being an owner of a sports team, you know, I feel about sports and being involved in the York community in that aspect, it's a big deal. And I'm excited for myself and for Paige. Jennifer used to take her daughters to games at People's Bank Park and is now excited to help the organization grow. I do kind of have a list, of, a chart paper with a list of different ideas that they could potentially try. So, I mean, I'll push them on the right away, but like, <laughs> well, give me some time. We want people who are either deeply rooted, deeply committed to York, or both. Eric so Menzer is the president of the York Revolution. Revolution. He says the team has an ownership group made up of people from the community, which is something you don't usually see. We made a very intentional effort to reach out to folks who were not the usual suspects, not the people who already owned all of the businesses in York, to invite them to become investors, and we created some programs to, to make it possible for them to do so. And I will tell you, it's the best thing we've ever done. I just think as a black female owner, I have a different lens. We all are gonna have a different lens, so I, of course, would encourage um, other women of color to come and join a baseball game if they've never done that. But this is about much more than baseball. I'm excited to participate in that capacity. Jennifer says she's now in a better position to help others like her. My school system family has been very supportive of me and the black community has been supportive. The more we celebrate and champion one another and help network and give re referrals, that's how we're all gonna grow. Being a black woman in this field is extremely rare. Jennifer is used to busting stereotypes and looks forward to breaking even more. I'm doing a job that I think at this point is equal to my, all my peers, regardless of race and regardless of gender. So that's what I want people to understand, that things like there's no barrier for me. That's how I see myself. And Jennifer is hitting the ground running. She just hosted a huge Super Bowl party at the stadium, and she's working on other themed events to get more women out to the ballpark. I didn't know that the York Revolution even had this as a possibility, this, yes. this unique path to ownership. This is the first I've heard of it, too, but it, it, and it's, it's very rare. One of the only teams that, that does something like this by having people in the community actually have a stake in the team. It makes sense yeah. because if people in the community are invested in the team, of course, they're going to support the team, and then the team's going to thrive. Yeah, so, I mean, it was, it was, it was 
really cool being there in the park and seeing that it, she was saying it's, it's more than just a sports team. It's an entertainment venue. Mm -hmm. So they do things throughout the entire year, not just during baseball season. I bet she's going to have a hand in the concession stand too. Yes, I think so <laughs> as well.